Hi, my name is John Hagler, and I'll be sharing with you today how with your data, you can simply and easily create powerful analytic solutions using Burst, even if you don't possess a technical background with complicated database scripting and ETL technologies. As long as you know a little about your data, we can build it using just your web browser. That's the power of Burst. We'll start by creating a new project. This is all happening in the cloud, either on premise or on a public service like AWS. There are three main steps to building out our solution. Dashboarding and visualizations, which is what most of us think of when we talk BI, but also connecting to, preparing, and relating our data. This is the Pronto layer where we refine our data, making it analytically ready. Also, Burst enables us to network or share our data, which breaks down the problem of disconnected silos of information. Let's start with connecting to our data. We can import Excel and other flat files, but let's dig in and connect directly with our database. Of course, we'll need to lay out the plumbing, but in Burst, we can do this simply, securely, and all in the browser. We choose which type of database we want to connect to, whether we want to have live access or work on a copy of the data. We just need to add our target database and credentials. Just briefly, I'd like to mention that Burst is not pulling data from our database. It's using the Burst agent, which is the one piece that needs to be on our source system and be able to communicate outwardly to Burst over an encrypted connection. This enables secure data transfer when and how you want it. We can choose the schema we want to work with and select the objects, seeing previews of the actual data right in our browser session. This becomes a powerful tool for business users to immediately verify that they have the data they are interested in and can begin to understand what they can glean. For example, the data includes a timestamp, which can contain additional insights we can leverage. Also, we can see what information we may be missing. We have the customer ID from our CRM system, but don't have account names. So let's go and retrieve it. This time, we'll be connecting to a pre-built cloud source. The process is simple and similar to connecting to our local data. There may be more challenging scenarios that may arise, and power users can leverage Burst Enterprise version that is well suited for complex tasks. For now, we are going to keep it simple and explore the options that a typical business user can use. Choose a source, add a username and password, and simply connect to your data. Initially, we just needed to grab the account name, but because we can see all the data that is available, it's trivial to select additional columns to bring into our analysis and ignore the blank or needed ones. It's useful for the business user to see what's available and valuable for the IT team to ensure time efficient, cost effective API usage. This can be a powerful change from business users having to document business requirements and hand them over to an IT team because all of this can be delivered quickly in the browser. Teams can work agilely directly in Burst and actually build their solution. Now that we have connected to our data, we can move on to the next step, prepare. Our account source looks good to go, but for our two other sources, let's clean them up and make them easier to use. From the timestamp field, we can extract the hour of day into a separate column. For our business users, this information can be key to making sure that their resources are efficiently distributed. Also, we can easily give this a business meaningful name. Next, we can merge our two sources together to give a simple reporting experience for our users. This process is similar to doing a VLOOKUP in Excel or joins with an SQL, both of which can sometimes be complicated and often prone to errors. Burst has created an intuitive and visual way to make this easy. All you need is a little knowledge about your data and a browser, and we're done. But that's not all. Burst has an extensive set of transforms for our data, including Burst Query Language, or BQL. For users who want to learn more, there are deep dive trainings available to unlock the power of this expressive framework. Here, we're gonna create a simple count of closed cases. There are probably several reports that need this information and we could create it in each, but by creating it at this step, every report will have the same ready to use calculation. 
This makes report authoring easier and consistent. Now our data is looking good. Let's publish. You'll notice that we haven't merged accounts with cases. This is intentional because from a business perspective, not every account will have a case. What we can do though, is define a relationship between these sources. In other tools, this process is often complicated and challenging. With Relate, we can simply form a connection between our two sources. While this may seem like a small step, this is a very big deal technically on the back end. We'll return here later, but now let's start building something a little more interesting. A key concept around designing effective visualizations is using something Burst calls value-based design. This methodology helps business and technical users alike to think beyond traditional reporting, like number-heavy reports or large data extracts. We want to re-engage with users through action-oriented visuals that allow for better business decision-making. Let's start our dashboard as an empty space to start creating. We'll give it a name. Next, we'll build what we call a key value indicator. This is a big digit number that performance is directly measured on. For our data, we'll use the number of closed cases. It'd also be good to understand the trend of this number over time. Now let's create some deeper level visuals. To do this, we'll use Visualizer. While being an incredibly powerful tool, it remains easy to use and understand for non-technical business users. On the left, we see our data prepared by Pronto, and on the right, our canvas and other tools to make truly impactful visuals. We can use Google-style searches to find the attributes and measures, easily experiment with different visuals, and Amazon-style nudges to highlight new ways of looking at your data. Here's our finished visual, a count of closed cases by customer type, by region, by case type. This report can be saved in the cloud in an IT managed repository. Now we can generate a wallet number style report. Here we can have a list of customers and sort by the number of cases and easily pick out the noisiest customers. We can save this as our detail report. Let's return to our dashboard and add charts and arrange them. We can see that our top customers are in the Midwest and easily filter for those. Two out of three support calls all come from the Midwest. So an action we could take on this would be to balance our support engineers to align more closely with that time zone. Or we can drill into a specific customer like Marshland. We can see that a lot of their cases are regarding admin related tasks. This may be a good opportunity to provide additional training. Are these insights actionable? I think so. This is the power of value-based design and practice. Let's get back to our dashboard design. We can add some flair to the dashboard to give the users a customized experience. First, we'll add the corporate logo and clean up some of the chart junk. Let's add some color to highlight our KPI. We can even embed external content directly on our dashboard. Now I wanna show what can be a pretty simple solution to a common governance problem. We wanna empower our user base to create dashboards and visuals that they need to answer their business questions, but wanna make sure that the numbers are valid and trusted. We could easily mark this dashboard as a draft by adding a background image until the report's been properly verified. This empowers users to create, but allows for a governance review process, a win for both sides. All of this happens in the cloud in your browser, brought to you by Burst. And there's even more that we can do. 
there are more challenging problems that many enterprises encounter, and Burst has solutions to match. Let's go back and review our detailed report and see how we can leverage the power of networked analytics. What we have right now is support cases by customers. Is this information really actionable? Are the numbers good or bad? What if we knew the billing details of each of these customers and compare it to the number of cases logged? The finance team has prepared a similar burst space for their own use that contains exactly the information we need. What if we could connect the solution we just made to that data? We can. Let's return to our connect layer and see what information is available. These spaces are governed and secured by IT and made available for us to use. We connect and that's it. There's no additional need for us to separately compare the data. That's already been done. We just need to relate it to our data. We've just easily connected to trusted data from another team and brought it directly into our solution. To use this new data, we'll jump back into Visualizer and we can see the new billing amount ready for us to add to the report. This is helpful information to have, but not quite the metric we need. Let's create a new metric, billings per case. What's happening is actually federated querying across systems, but to the user, it's just writing a formula. Another great example of how Burst hides complexity and offers an intuitive end user experience. We can see that our top customer, Ventures, can be seen as an outlier when compared to other customers. Direct actions can be taken off this insight to either help the customer reduce their reliance on support through training or restructure their billings to match their volume. Without both of these pieces of information in this view, this opportunity may have gone unnoticed. What we've seen so far is a dashboard built in under 30 minutes. Let's consider what we could have built if we had 30 days or more. To see the possibilities, we're going to jump over to the space where our billing details came from. Let's focus on the top end of what's possible with Burst. We'll review a corporate level solution that we created for the sales and marketing teams. Let's start off with what a marketing executive may see. We see value-based design and action. Our most important number that this executive performance is measured on is prominently displayed. The numbers that support this metric are also shown as well as the many ways to slice and dice the information below, including this embedded D3 object. Further down, we can also see what the marketing team is doing on the public website, as well as activity on social media channels. Remember, this solution is a corporate site, meaning that these metrics are valuable for other teams, such as in the sales view. The sales executives that use this dashboard aren't interested in ROI, but do care very much about revenue and its key drivers, the win rate, number of opportunities, and average deal side, which matches the same metric that we see on the marketing view. Below, we can see two commonly requested reports, the one on the right, a crosstab with some conditional flags to visually highlight outliers. On the left, we can see a report created from an add-on component called Designer, which produces richly formatted pixel-perfect reports that can be exported and printed. In both views, we still have the interactive filtering capability. Let's filter for a specific segment. And as expected, all the dashboard items react. Let's talk through another use case. Even though the dashboards we just saw were delivered by Burst Power users, we can still empower business users to explore their data using Visualizer. Because the data is already prepared, they don't need to configure data sources or column types. They can leverage the neatly organized subject areas to create new reports easily. We can create a new chart of revenue by quarter, by region, by manager in just a few clicks. These features are expected and comparable to most BI tools. However, let's discuss a common issue that arises. What if our user has some additional data they want to overlay, for example, sales targets? Now, without bursts, this can be a problem. There could be a couple of solutions. Create a ticket with the IT team and wait, hoping that it can be delivered on while the data is still actionable. Or rip out all the visuals and export the data so that you can match it up to your Excel data 
and then distribute by email. This creates yet another disconnected data silo. With Burst, there's another way. It's a simple but revolutionary solution. Instead of export, let's import our data. Here's how we can do that. Directly in Visualizer, we can import the Excel sheet and immediately see our sales target data and verify this is the data we want to use. We can connect our edge data to our core IT managed data and we're done. Let's talk just a bit about what we've done. We've kept our core space clean, but enable additional user data to be accessed and utilized. More importantly, the external data is now visible and can be shared instead of being hidden and disconnected. The same network analytics architecture is being leveraged to make this possible. Now we can use our core data plus our newly available sales target data and create our visual how we want it. Again, we're seeing federated querying implemented simply. The data model stays intact, which is good for governance, but gives the users the power and flexibility to make agile business decisions. Let's take a quick pause and review. Our dashboards give us the ability to put actionable information in front of business decision makers. Reports can be easily authored using Visualizer, and Pronto lets us connect, prepare, and relate our data model. Remember that live access is supported so we can connect to our data sources for real-time information or leverage data models that are already prepared in the source database. If we need access to another burst space or want to share this one, we can use network analytics. Burst still has more to offer. In the Enterprise Edition, you have access to Designer for printable, pixel-perfect reporting, as well as the Power User Admin Console. Here, we see the entire workflow of creating analytically ready data, connecting, refining, preparing, and managing access. Typically, these tasks take several technical professionals like ETL developers, DBAs, and dashboard authors using many tools like Alteryx, Erwin, and Tableau. Historically, projects that involve such complexity can span months and years. Burst's integrated and interactive workflow brings all of these activities under a single package. We can see all of our data sources used in this enterprise space. Your environment may be even more complex with additional sources like Salesforce, spreadsheets, or even an existing data warehouse. These are all functional and reliable, but not necessarily elegant or efficient. What Burst can do is transform these sources into an analytically ready format. Some people call this a data warehouse model or star schema, but we can refer to it as user ready data. We've abstracted away the complexity of the source data and can provide users with a reliable and performant experience. Lastly, we can see the entire data model from start to finish. This is Burst, born in the cloud, web scale architecture that delivers analytical solutions for businesses large and small.